Welcome to God's Five Minutes with Pastor Ed Wilson. Reach him at God's Five Minutes at gmail.com. Now, here's Ed Wilson with God's Five Minutes. Hello, friends. Proverbs 16.2 reads, All the ways of a man are clean in his own eyes, but the Lord weigheth the spirits. Now, there's a truth any observant person has seen proven many times over and over. Somehow, we humans have a strange power of blinding ourselves to our own most obvious failings and blunders. Simply put, most people are their own worst enemy. Watch someone who is moving toward a foolish marriage. He or she wills every manner of twisted logic and irrational justification to insist the relationship will work and should be encouraged. Or see someone who cannot resist abusing credit. He will invent the most outrageous reasons why he simply must spend beyond his means. In such a life, the pot of gold at the end of the rainbow is forever just beyond one's fingertips. And if the scripture read here is all there is to the matter, then we are all that way. What hope is there for any of us? Part of the answer is in the second clause of the text. The Lord weigheth the spirits. He is not swayed by human reasoning. He looks past the convoluted excuses and rationalizations to the deep causes of why people think as they do. He looks into our hearts, and so by all means should we, if only we could. But something about that happened to us all when Adam and Eve destroyed their holy communion with God, has forever put an inborn veil between us and God, and therefore between us and our own hearts. So the consequence for far too many souls is to travel through life having only an occasional glimpse of who they really are, when God, in a merciful attempt to help show a way out, momentarily lifts the edge of the veil. So what are we to do? The next verse down contains the answer. Here they are together. All the ways of a man are clean in his own eyes, but the Lord weigheth the spirits. Commit thy works unto the Lord, and thy thoughts shall be established. We humans are so incapable of truly separating right from wrong in our flawed carnal vision, our efforts to do so can become simply ridiculous, as we see being demonstrated today among the gurus of political correctness, pretended discrimination, microaggressions, all the nonsense eclipsing the national scene. We need a moral ethic, a standard for human thought and behavior, a balance for our emotional imaginings and rationalizations greater than our own perceptions and our culture. We need to be in touch with a righteous God. All thanks be to him that goal is attainable. First, let me point out that although in our Western world today the Holy Bible has severely fallen out of favor, its holy promise of solace and guidance are as vital as ever. So many of the intellectual leaders of a generation ago abused and contradicted it until we now have a generation who have laid it aside as fables and outdated philosophies unworthy of a second thought, and so are often almost completely unfamiliar with it. My friends, please let me recommend to you today that in all the history of the world no grander poetry has ever flowed from author's pen than the 23rd Psalm. The eloquent, simple majesty of the Sermon on the Mount is still the highest possible ben- benchmark, rather, of how we should treat one another. If you would know your own heart, turn to God's Word, which is a mirror to the soul. Even more vital to the steps of seeing and improving ourselves is for us to have a personal acquaintance with the Creator. Finding salvation is not a matter of accepting a religious creed or belief system. It consists of meeting a person, and that person is Jesus Christ. He is a living being. He loves you, and he wants to come into your heart. If you will allow him to do so, he will live there just as he did when he was here, with perfect understanding and with grace to meet the needs and conditions of life. His pledge is to give you a new heart, and it is his good pleasure to shine sunlight into that heart, that you may see all its internal workings, and that it may be just as transparent to those you most need to be able to depend on your fidelity, spouse, children, kinfolk, employer, community. Commit your ways unto the Lord. Accept Jesus into your heart. Have you talked to him today? You have been listening to God's Five Minutes with Pastor Ed Wilson. Reach him by email at G-O-D-S-F-I-V-E minutes at gmail.com. Tune in next time to hear more encouraging thoughts from God's Word on God's 5 Minutes with Pastor Ed Wilson.
never miss your favorite show again. For more than 30 years, KNEO has been bringing you great Bible teachers on a local and national level. And now we've made it easier than ever to hear from these great men and women of God. KNEO's entire lineup is now available to listen anytime, anywhere through our website. Go to KNEO.org slash podcast to see all the options. You can search for programs alphabetically, or you can select individual categories like culture, kids, leadership, or music. We even have a category just for locally produced programs, so you can hear from pastors and spiritual leaders located right here in the four-state area. And all these resources are absolutely free. KNEO's mission is to get God's Word in front of you, and this is one of the ways we do it. Give it a try today. Go to KNEO.org and click on the podcast tab to get started.